hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm doing a haul and this is really belated because i actually have had this box sat in my room for ages but i was doing all my sale hauls and i didn't want to be like literally a haul channel so i wanted to like wait a bit and put some other videos in and today's video is a revolve haul i got some new pieces for them and i've been really patient you guys i mean it's not been hard because i've been at home so it's not like i've had anywhere to wear them but I've kept everything in the packaging so I've not looked at any of it um, and there's a couple of things I also want to show you that I've got that I've just put on here that are my own clothes that I've gone into sale so, so the first piece is this jumper which I have actually still got the tags on even though I've worn can you even believe it um, so it's from Academy. it's really cute everything I'll link below by the way so don't worry about like trying to note down the names and stuff because I'll I'll just link everything in the description below along with the size that I got um, so this is a really nice knitted kind of I'd call it like a knitted top rather than a jumper because it's quite lightweight knit and it's got this really nice kind of would you call it like a polo type neckline it's just beautiful this is going to be so nice in spring I definitely think it's more of a springtime top Zara have got a version of it which is a lot more affordable but different kind of material so different quality um, but yeah I was so happy when I saw this going to sale especially because so many of you guys um, were asking about it and also saying that it was a bit too expensive and did I did I know where you could get in a more affordable alternative um, so yeah now it's in the sale another piece that's gone into the sale is this dress and I actually wore this a few times I wore it on my hen do I don't know if I wore it on my honeymoon um, and I wore it when I um, in the summer in the UK to go and see Celine Dion so memories um, but I love this dress so much it's so flattering it's got the most beautiful like delicate little ties it's gingham it's really flattering because it's like tight and then like flicks out but it's not like super flicky outy um, and because of the adjustable straps you can like make the bust area however you like like <laughs> where did that come from and I also have got no boobs as you guys all know um, and this is really flattering it makes me look like I've got boobs guys so I'm a big fan of this dress so without further ado let's get into the new in and unboxing so you have to bear with me with the fact that I ordered this all before isolation but I'm going to try and style them up for like comfy outfits around the house that are like still not like completely comfy in terms of like lounge wear, though some may be, um, but like kind of work from home, home appropriate outfits that are still kind of nice and fashionable and stylish because no one wants to be seeing outfits that are like things that you just won't wear at home because well, no one's leaving the house. So I'm trying to be mindful of that fact, but without being depressing in terms of just wear pajamas <laughs> so hopefully there's like a nice balance um but this is one thing i picked that i just thought would be so cute for spring and this is like so appropriate for around the house i was clearly predicting the future because i ordered this over a month ago when everything had not gone crazy um and it's this really nice i don't know if you call it like a mauve it's kind of like a gray pinky color um and i really like it i think it's such a nice kind of color and it's really like open knit. It's kind of like got a stripe within the knit. Can you see? Um, and it's a hoodie and it's like cropped. So I thought this would look really cute actually now with joggers or with jeans. And I had actually planned for spring. It was, I thought it would look really cute with like a little dress or a little skirt as well. So or like denim shorts. So I think it's quite a good like throw on piece. So I remember picking quite a lot of knitwear. Um, so this is another piece that I picked. And this is from Majorelle. I love Majorelle. So, oh, oh my God, I nearly lost it. Um, this is like a little tie front cardigan. So it'll look cute open, but also tied up as like a top. And again, cute with joggers, jeans, over a little dress in the spring. Another one that you can wear loads. I feel like, is this knitted? I feel like it's more of a kind of crochet vibe to it. Um, and it's got a really nice kind of scallop edge detailing. Uh, it's just really pretty. It's only got one tie, so I don't know. You could wear it as a top, but you'd have to, like, be pretty secure in that tie and happy and assured in your tying skills. Uh, but it actually looks really nice with these, this, like, blue denim. Um, 
So yeah, this is another cute one for like around the house. It's quite good that I picked all knitwear to be fair. And I'll link this top down below as well. I'm obsessed with these sleeves, it's so nice. And this is actually from the high street, so it's very affordable. So if you're watching this and thinking revolves are way too much for me, then fear not because this top is not revolve and it's affordable. Um, so then we have this little sleeveless cardigan. Now I thought how cute would this look with jeans? Again, soft it would look nice with jeans around the house um also with like some little cycling shorts or open as a little jacket with a little racer vest um it's really nice it kind of buttons all the way up to here so it's like buttons as if it's a crop top and then it goes down and this is actually from the song of style range which is amy's song i'm sure you all know um her range for revolve which i think is like a year old probably now ish um, and it's the first thing I've actually got from her collection and it looks like really nice quality and I really like the style of this. Most of the styles, the reason why I've never had anything before is because I feel like half of them are a bit too out there for me in terms of like print and material because um, I'm quite a casual dresser and they're quite like formal and like statement um, and half the things that aren't like that are just completely sold out all the time so I was really lucky to find this piece not sold out and I'll link it below for you guys. Okay so I wasn't sure what this material was going to be like when I ordered it. It's kind of like paper. <laughs> it's not actually like paper but it's like got that look to it. I don't know. It's really strange. Can you see? It's like really, I don't know, it's so strange. So it's like a sheer top with a high neck um, and it's kind of got, it's like this sheer material and then it's got opaque stripes on it and it's sleeveless and I love pieces like this that are have got like an interesting texture and style to them uh, but they're really good for layering and they're kind of like, because it's a black high neck top, it is a kind of wardrobe staple basic but it's got that really nice texture that makes it a bit more interesting. Um, and I feel like these things are really cool for the like layering in this time of year in spring. I should be standing this side so you can sit there. Um, so sorry about the terrible way that it will have been edited up until now. Um, but yeah, I think things like this look really cool when they're layered. So say you want to go for an all black look with a black blazer over the top. It would just look so cool rather than like a plain black top to have something like this. So you can just see the detail. Um, or if you wanted to go for like a neutral look or if you had it with something else. But yeah, I just think it's a little bit, it's like a basic but with a, a bit of a twist. And this is from L'Academy. I never used to shop at L'Academy, um, but recently I found that a lot of my stuff comes from there. Um, they've quickly become one of my fave brands on Revolve. Now this piece is another kind of blogger, Instagrammer, I'll say it here again, blogger, Instagrammer collaboration and it's the Camilla Kelho range and I'm not going to lie, I actually love the branding. I prefer it to the Song of Style one, I just think it's beautiful branding such nice branding um it just feels a bit more kind of luxurious and almost designer uh, like it's like i've got a proper branding kind of name rather the other one the song of style kind of looked a bit like a revolve label just with her name on it um but so this is the first thing i've had from camilla kelho's range um and this is, again is another kind of black wardrobe staple with a twist so it's a high neck top and then it's got this really nice cut out um, and it's not too low i think it's something that would look nice if you have boobs or not uh, and also you could just put it like it kind of would frame like a necklace really nicely and it's like this really nice soft ribbed material that would stretch easily uh, and still be flattering and I really like that. I think it's so cool. Such a nice, like I said, like a basic with a twist. So this is from one of my fave Revolve brands. I know I've said that about all of them. This is like my OG fave. So like I used to always only get stuff from this brand and then I like branched out and that's Tula Rosa. Um, and it's this, so I ordered this because it just really reminded me of one of my fave bloggers, Sincerely Jewels. Uh, it's quite big for a small actually, but I guess it's probably meant to be oversized, but I just assumed that this bit would be tighter. Um, so it's this really gorgeous yellow. Yellow is like such a huge spring trend, uh, and I don't have that much yellow in my wardrobe. And fun fact, it's my favourite colour, so I wanted to get this. Let me just stand to the side so you can see it starred up. Um, so it's got these really nice big puff sleeves. It's got the most beautiful 
texture and print on it and again like the other pieces that i've been talking about it's another piece that's like a really nice simple style but just has those gorgeous details like the embroidery and the scallop edge um, to make it feel a bit more special and again it's something that would look really cute with joggers around the house or jeans just a kind of like a nice top i feel like in these times guys it's the, the perfect time for jeans and a nice top around the house make yourself feel a bit more special maybe you want to get all glammed up to go to the garden for a glass of wine the garden bar i, I saw a thing the other day that was like um saint bathroom <laughs> um uh, costa del sofa it was like where are you vacationing <laughs> le jardin um so yeah i'm gonna go to le jardin bar and have a glass of wine in my new top i feel like i didn't mean to do this but i've actually managed to get something i think from like every single brand or pretty much all of them i've got so i haven't got anything from privacy please i don't think which is shocking because they're my faves they are actually my favorites because they do really good quality simple basics are like wardrobe staples so they are actually my fave brand and i don't actually think i've got anything from them this time which is shocking uh, but i have got lpa majorelle <laughs> revolt um tularosa lovers and friends l'academy song of style and camilla calho usually it's like mainly one brand but been quite good this time and um, so immediately i'm shocked at this because i feel like in the picture on the website i'll put a picture in here I don't think you can tell that it's high neck. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Do you know what? I know what it is. It's because it was unbuttoned on the website. So I'm going to unbutton it. So it's got this nice high neck with like this kind of, I think it's called a lettuce trim. But it was unbuttoned. So it was like a low neck t-shirt. So to me, it looked like a collared t-shirt. So I guess you can roll that collar down. Oh, there. There we go. And then it's got a really cute kind of lettuce hem collar okay now i like it again <laughs> uh, again it's a really nice soft knit it's a wardrobe staple with a twist guys this is like my jam wardrobe staples with a twist it's a really nice soft knit it's got that beautiful detail and it's like a t-shirt but it's got that really nice detail of the buttons and the neckline um and it's a little bit cropped it will look cute tucked in as well like it's long enough to wear tucked in but also quite a nice length that if it wasn't tucked in it would look nice if you know what i mean am i making any sense um and then it's this lovely kind of beigey color that goes with everything like literally everything so it's really good uh, it's a really good kind of wardrobe staple in that sense too for like layering up and then we come to the end and it's another lovers and friends top and i remember this is one of the first things i picked out and it's so basic guys again a basic with a twist but i just had to have it because i had a little lovers and friends i think it was oh no it was privacy please crop top last year i'll put a picture in i think it might still be available in the sale um from revolve and i wore it no end i loved it so much and it was just so cute and flattering and this kind of reminded me of it so i wanted to try it and i know neons are kind of a trend for spring summer i'm not a neon kind of girl but i felt like this lime green kind of gave a little hint towards the neon trend without being full-on neon so i thought it was quite an easy way to like wear the trend but also without having because i feel like if, you, if i got like a neon dress i'd probably wear it once or twice if that and then it would be like you could send it to the charity shop put it on depop or whatever whereas i feel like with a neon-y kind of t-shirt like this it's kind of like a i mean it's almost like a lemon yellow lime green so it's neon but I don't think that if neon wasn't on trend, I wouldn't like it, if you get what I mean. So, it's like a way to wear the trend without being part of, like, throwaway fashion as such. Though, I'm probably going to get loads of people being like, you're the worst for throwaway fashion, could you do hauls? Um, but, do you know what I mean? What, I'm, what, what kind of angle I'm trying to come from here? Uh, and it's got this really nice ribbed detail too. And it's got this nice kind of low neckline that's not too low. And it's kind of like a scoop neck. Um, and it's the right length for jeans, it looks really nice. Also, I feel like a cropped t-shirt with jeans can look really cute with a blazer over the top too because you don't um, you don't have like the tucky in detail. It's just a bit different than like checking in or wearing a belt or something uh, or having like a long one. It, it's quite nice for the silhouette. Um, and then also I would wear this for joggers around the house for like to feel cute and fancy um, or the, the Jardin bar. Thank you so much for watching my video and sticking with me guys. I've been posting so often. Are you guys enjoying me posting like every day? 
uh, or are you like, okay, enough is enough? <laughs> um, and let me know what you guys want to see with, from me too. I have quite a few hauls that I want to do just purely because I have so many clothes. So I really want to split them up. Um, I've got loads of new in and then also like pieces that I've got specifically to do videos. But I do want to split them up as well with like some fun and different videos. And loads of you have requested things from me like um, a review on my Prada bag. Um, I've just filmed my makeup which will be up by now, my everyday makeup, I'll link that below. Uh, so lots of things like that, I've done like roasting my Instagram, I think that will be up already, I'll link that below too. So yeah, if there's any like fun, different videos or like styling videos you want to see, do let me know. I mean, I'm filming every day now so I need your help in thinking of ideas because I'm going to get stuck soon. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and well and at home and if you're bored and want to talk to me, feel free to leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram at Sinead Crowell, link here. Um, my DMs are always open and also me and Jack are doing like silly things on my stories too, like daily games and forfeits and um, like he, when he does go to the supermarket, buys like crazy snacks and then have like the snack of the day and my reaction. So yeah, if you want some more entertainment, then make sure you head over to my Instagram stories and I'll see you next time or tomorrow. Bye.